a Dana 30 hot pinion. Um, just uh, hit it with the wire brush and the hand brush. All places. Gotta make sure this area is smooth. Might not be, so we'll get it. I'm gonna spray some paint on the morning. Just sprayed it with some phosphoric acid, which has already had some on it. That's why it's white in certain places. So yeah, we're gonna paint it tomorrow. It's already got a set of, set of gears in it, re-geared to match. Yeah, an upgrade. So, we got that all so dry. We'll hit it with the wire brush. Clean up a little places, a few places. Um, then we're gonna hit it with some black, um, low gloss farm implement paint. So it's a pretty strong paint. The thing about this stuff is like we, we had it flipped around the other way, and you get kind of like little puddles, bubbles, and they come off. It's uh, it's phosphoric acid. I forget the exact <laughs> chemical reaction that occurs, but it essentially is not rust anymore. So, got it all cleaned up. Looking nice. About to hose her off with the water hose. Then head to Lee Hardware. <laughs> head to Lee Hardware. Go get some more paint. Got the stuff. Okay, so no electric lime green is pretty rare color, but if you're wondering how to color match things, obviously you can buy the I think $25 a can for color matched. Um, this is how it's been yellow with this uh Krylon fluorescent like all fluorescent long green right but it fades after a while it ends up like that it's still a little bit wet and uh, stuff in certain places i'm just gonna take rags wipe it down it's not gonna be perfect we're not sand we haven't sandblasted it it's not gonna get all the paint off but but we can get it close enough to where it looks good and it protects it from further rust so that's the objective Then, uh, it's uh, important to note that even though this looks like it's all weird, it's not. It's just uh, the way that also works is it gives it that kind of like textured look, but it's not. It's smooth. Oh, well, it's smooth as you know. We still got rest of it. So it's just sitting in dirt, but yeah. can't beat eighty dollars for this axle. It's not bad. It's an upgrade over the so. so eighty dollars for this is well paid for. And then I think it was like. Five hundred dollars for Greek gears or something. Like that.
suck at that video, but uh, I already got a second coat on it. She's looking good. I mean, obviously, a little pit of there, but ain't nobody gonna see that. What you're gonna see from under it is like that view. And as you can see, like, get closer. That's pretty clean. I'm happy with it. I did. I dusted that with some black. You can still see the red behind it. But, like I said before, it's getting color matched. So, no big deal. Yeah, I haven't done a proper intro to this video. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go into this, you know. I watched a few videos. It's like, a whole bunch of new guys. I'm like, yeah, I got a Jeep. I got a pretty cool Jeep. I got a rare Jeep. I got a unicorn Jeep. So, you know, my LJ. Fucking love the thing. So, uh, okay, why not? Um, Dad's got... YJ, which we rebuilt his front 30. He's got an 8.8 .8 swap in the rear that we put in. So uh, we figured, why not on mine? Uh, we got, look at them. Is it going to see it? I got a little bit of body rust. But, well, not body rust. Frame rust and shit. So uh, I'm going to try to get that over Christmas break. Cause it's, it's South Georgia. It doesn't get very cold here. Now Atlanta gets a little cold, but it's like, it's 70 degrees and it's December 10th. So 70 degrees is like cool. So yeah. It's looking nice right now. It's settled. Really? I don't know if you can tell. It's on 31s right now. I've got those 33s. I just got to mount them to my bead locks. but uh, it's settled. It's about like two and a half inches in the front. It was three and a half when we first did it. And it's three inches in the back. I don't know if I can back up enough to see. But the front is lower by a little bit. Probably can't see. So we're gonna fix that. Um, should be riding nice. We've got, uh, that axle's got some problems with it. Clanking and clanking and stuff. So should fix that. And it'll sit higher. That's the thing. So it's pretty low now. It has warmed up just a little bit more. I have rolled her over. This is gonna be getting up in here, places like that, just ain't gonna happen. So, uh, figure something out with that. Might just stay how it is. It ain't bad. But yeah, we got that. Rob. All right, hopefully the audio isn't back because I'm holding a bag. But uh, it's dry. It's dry. So what we're gonna do is just use a contractor bag. Call it contractor bag. Trash bags. Um, cut a hole in it, put it on there. I always keep trash bags in the back of my Jeep. Hours later. So we're gonna cut a hole in it, set it over there, use some tape tape around it. Uh, not worried about bolts or anything. That's all getting paint the same color. What I'm gonna do, because that paint's so expensive and it's so close to the other one, like really close i'm going to instead of hitting it three coats with that which would suck up half the can i'm gonna hit it with one coat of that and then two coats of that just to kind of divide us up i've already painted i got the drying over there the parts for the steering i already got them painted up in that other paint so probably gonna get out of here around one o'clock we've got about an hour to do this i hope that doesn't take too long to dry because this this farm of a paint doesn't take long at all to dry but this other stuff does. So. Yeah. 
Oh, that's the most alliteration. Uh, right now I'm asking to use wire tape. It shouldn't have the same effect of holding things down. We're gonna hold the trash right now, like I said. Tape with one cut of this. Tape with two cuts of this. Oh, we should have the desired result. Both these paints do not go on very thick. They're very, uh... Okay, so the finished result, a little pitted in places. You can definitely see the old paint like through, but from far away, you can't tell. Just like, you know, the paint on my actual Jeep, it looks good from far away. Diff cover, like I said, uh, I stopped recording because reasons, but uh, it's literally the same color as what that other paint is. Just hopefully this one doesn't fade. You know, it's, it's slightly darker. Here, you can see over here. You can see where that one's fade, but it's slightly darker, but when it dries, it's the same color. So I got these painted. I got these painted. Axles re-geared, ready. Yeah. I just gotta put bushings in here and then uh, it'll be ready to go under there. We're gonna use, I'm eventually gonna get a brake upgrade. Just, I'm not gonna go slider rotors because I don't want mud to get stuck in them, but I'm eventually gonna do a brake upgrade. Um, place with. So I'm gonna get that done eventually. Obviously steering, could have went with the steering upgrade, but I'm not. I just, I'm up. I'm upgrading it from being old and broken to brand new. So, Rock Auto came in clutch and I got all new tie rods, even the one that's attached to the bar. So, I got all that new. Um, yeah, it, uh, hopefully, I'll get this video up around Wednesday of next week. Hopefully, this one I'll have it up. Um, and around Wednesday next week is when I'm going to be tearing this bad boy apart so i guess I'll, I'll say something on that is obviously the tires are going to be a minute till we get that done but uh we're going to get new lift which is new springs i'm going to adjust our control arms because they're all a bit off i'm gonna try to you can see right here it's, where it's just a little rusty it's just surface rust it's not bad definitely took, my dad definitely took care of this jeep for the entire time he had it but uh you know it's not bad it's just i want to go ahead and get it done so I'm gonna try to undercut that because right as of now, it's gonna be good weather. Like if it's like 30 degrees and raining, then uh, yeah, probably not gonna get to it. But uh, if not, we're gonna get to that. Might be like a four, four, four videos in this month I'll get out. I'm gonna repaint these two with that new paint because I have enough of it. Um, oh, rear axle. Rear axle is a Dana 44. Uh, I did mention, or I don't know if I keep it in the video. I did sell the Dana 44 drum brake axle. It's got its thing, uh, pinion seal's leaking. It's obviously dirty right now, but it's not really rusted as bad as that other axle's rusting with. So I'm not gonna osso it, just simply because I don't have time and because I don't think it's that bad. But we're gonna get it out, we're gonna clean it, we're gonna spray it with that same farm mill paint, um, replace the pinion seal. Pinion seal? Yeah, pinion seal. We'll replace that, I've already got the part in. Get all that done. Um, might the calipers if we have enough time that was a brand new caliper they rust fast um but yeah yeah we'll get all that done all in all it'll come out good uh so yeah we will do that yeah thank you guys if you just clicked on this video whatever reason however you're here thank you that is an air compressor it's really loud but thank you for coming it's uh hopefully i keep doing this y'all like cheap content i guess See ya.